Juno Empire reporter Kevin Gullifson here to talk about our Curious by Nature question this week, which was, what is glacial flour? So this is, it, the, the short answer is that it's basically just ground up rocks, okay? Glacial flour, also known as glacial silt and uh, rock flour, is what is produced by the glacier, like the Mendenhall Glacier here, when the mechanical action of the glacier moving forward grinds up the rocks below the ice. Um, it, the Mendenhall Glacier produces a ton of it. We're standing on a significant portion of the glacial silt produced by the glacier, mixed in with some, some gravel that also came from the glacier as well. Um, so all the rock below the glacier is getting continually carved out by the glacier moving forward. Some of those rocks uh, make it to the face of the glacier at a normal gravelly size like you see here, and some of it gets ground up quite a bit more like glacial silt or rock flour. And this stuff is significant because uh, it's small enough that it can be suspended in the water column. Um, most rocks will settle to the bottom when they come into the water, you know, because rocks are obviously heavier than, than water, but glacial silt is small enough that when there's a little bit of turbidity, a little bit of movement in the water, it stays suspended in the water column. And that's why uh, glacier-fed uh, waters like the Mendenhall Lake here are a little bit murkier and uh, seem to have like a, a gray hue to them. That's because there's a bunch of uh, glacial silt or rock flour suspended in the water here. Um, the Mendenhall Glacier produces a ton of silt and it has, uh, it does have a little bit of iron in it, so it affects the environment that way. Um, it, it doesn't, the iron in it doesn't dissolve at a, at a quick rate, I'm told, but it um, does add iron to the soils around here. Um, but yeah, glacial silt, it's in a lot of our soil in the Mendenhall Valley and it's an important part of glacier ecosystems.